top story. From the courtroom today, the Third Circuit Court of Appeal has rejected David Anthony Burns' attempt to appeal his conviction in the October 2004 murder of Courtney Coco. It took 18 years to develop a suspect and build a case, but in November of last year, after 90 minutes of deliberation, a Rapids Parish jury returned a guilty verdict for second-degree murder, sentencing Burns to life in prison. You may remember Burns was convicted of killing 19-year-old Coco in October 2004 and then dumping her body in Winnie, Texas. Prosecutors believe she was smothered. Burns was engaged to Coco's sister at the time, and it's alleged he was in a relationship with Coco as well. After his conviction, Burns' attorney Christopher LaCour argued the case was riddled with inconsistencies and said he believed jurors returned a, quote, sympathy verdict. The alleged inconsistencies were the basis of Burns' appeal. He asserted two claims, both that the evidence submitted in trial was insufficient to prove murder, and if Coco had been murdered, there was insufficient evidence to prove Burns was guilty. And just one example, Burns found fault with the state's key witness. He argued the evidence amounted to the identification of Burns by a witness that said he looked like a person leaving the location where Coco was found. That witness later identified Burns out of a lineup. The court argued the law allows the positive identification of a suspect by only one witness to sufficiently support a conviction. Ultimately, the Third Circuit affirmed Burns' conviction and sentence, meaning he will remain behind bars.